right, in my next video tutorial, I'm going to be reviewing how to solve an equation by graphing. So in this example, we have a quadratic on the left side of the equal sign, negative 2x squared minus 16x minus 25. On the right side of the equal sign, we have 6x squared plus 48x plus 95. Now you can solve this algebraically, but what I'm going to show you is how you can do this all by a calculator. So if we're going to solve by graphing, we're going to want to graph this. Here's what we're going to do. On the left side of the equal sign, so this entire piece, I'm going to make that my y1 in my calculator. So y1 is going to be negative 2x squared minus 16x minus 25. And then I'm going to take the right side and I'm going to make this my y2. So y2 is 6x squared plus 48x plus 95. I'm going to take each of those and I'm going to plug it into my calculator. So for this video, um, I already plugged it in so you don't have to waste time watching me plug all that in. But I'm going to plug it all in. Be very careful. In front of the 2, let's use the uh, negative sign and not the subtraction sign. Everything else is subtractions there. So when you, after you hit y equals, plug it all in, we're going to go to graph this. And here is what our graph looks like. Now what we're going to find, and this is very similar to solving a system by graphing, we're going to find the x-intercepts, or sorry, not the x-intercepts, the intercepts of the two graphs. So to do that, I've talked about this in previous videos, we're going to go to second calc, these two buttons, and we're going to go to intersect. And that will allow our calculator to determine where these two intersections are they're taking place. First question it asks you, it says, all right, here's y1. And it's asking, do you want to use that for your first curve? Well, yes, that's what we had for y1. That's what we want to use. So hit enter. And then it's going to switch over to y2. And it's going to ask, are you sure you want to use this as your second curve? It is. So I'm going to hit enter again. The third question is guess, and what it's asking you to do is guess roughly where this intersection is taking place. Now there's two of them here. I want to figure out what this intersection is. So if I move the arrows around, I see my cursor, and I'll put it right on top of the intersection and hit enter. And my calculator reports the intersections at x equals negative 3 and y equals 5. But here's the thing. If you look in the original problem, all there is is x variables there. There is no y var variables, only x. So when we're finding the intersection, I don't really care what y is. All I care about is what x is, since, again, the original problem only has x. So one of my solutions is going to be x equals negative 3. But the thing is, is there was two intersection points there, so I have to find the other one. So I'm going to repeat that process of going through and calculating the other intersection. So I do second calc, option number 5 for intersect. And it's again going to ask you, do you want to use y1? Yes, I do, so hit enter. Do you want to use y2? Yes, I do, so hit enter. And it wants us to guess where that other intersection's at. So I'm going to have to hit the arrows to the left. And you'll see it moves over there. That's close enough. Hit enter, and it says this intersection is at x equals negative 5, y equals 5. Again, there is only x values in the original problem, so all I care about is what is x. So x is negative 5. Negative 3 and negative 5 are going to be my two solutions to that quadratic equation. So that was solving this equation by graphing.